Israeli company wants to build electric roads that can charge buses and cars. Imagine if you could charge your electric car or bus simply by driving. That is the vision of Israeli company Electrode. Electrode has designed a system that charges electric vehicles by embedding energy transfer coils in the road. As a vehicle such as a bus travels over the coils, its battery is charged wirelessly. Electrode claims it can lay two kilometers of energy transfer coils in a day. Road is dug up by one machine. The coils are laid. Then another machine buries the coils under bitumen. Roadside equipment helps to monitor electricity usage. Electrode hopes to begin testing the system with a public bus in Tel Aviv. Here are four more electrifying ideas from the future. Solar-powered roads could power the entire U.S. Idaho-based Solar Roadways is hoping to build solar-powered roads that will not only provide power, but will also create digital driving services that can be remotely controlled. Solar Roadways says if installed nationwide in the U.S., their roads could provide more renewable energy than the entire energy the country uses. Solar-powered roads by Solar Roadways are comprised of hexagonally shaped panels that consist of four layers, a base layer of recyclable materials that is placed on the ground, a support structure with embedded circuitry, LED lights that collect sunlight and convert it into electricity, and finally a top layer of reinforced glass with traction support for vehicles. The panels can support trucks weighing up to 250,000 pounds or 115,000 kilograms, and the lights can be remotely controlled to provide guidance to drivers or to reallocate spaces in a parking lot. Electric vehicles will be able to use mutual induction technology to charge while driving. The panels also contain heating elements connected to the electricity grid that can melt snow and ice that forms on them. An attached cable corridor helps store and treat stormwater while also providing a place to store power and data cables. The cost of the solar panels can be covered primarily through the generation of electricity, which can also power connected homes and businesses. Solar Roadways estimates there is about 31,000 square miles or 80,000 square kilometers of usable road surfaces in the US that could be converted into solar-powered roads. Solar Roadways received a contract from the Federal Highway Administration to build the prototype in 2009. Now they are hoping for $1 million in funding in order to begin mass production of the road. France planning to pave roads with solar panels. The French government is set to go ahead with energy plans to pave 1,000 kilometers of its country's roads with solar panels. France's energy minister, Ségolène Royal, made the announcement last month, saying she expects tests to begin as soon as this spring. The panels are made by Cola, a subsidiary of French industrial giant Bouygues, and took five years to develop. These 7mm thick wattway solar panels contain photovoltaic cells, which collect solar energy through a thin layer of polycrystalline silicon. The panels will be glued to existing road surfaces and can withstand the passage of heavy goods vehicles. The manufacturers say road surfaces are occupied by vehicles only around 10% of the time, so the panels will get plenty of exposure to the sun. The panels can provide electricity for street lights, street furniture, road signs, and buildings. The manufacturers say 4 meters of solarized road can power one household, and one kilometer can produce enough electricity for a town of 5,000 people. If it reaches its maximum potential, the plan could provide electricity for 5 million people, or about 8% of France's population. The cost of the project is unknown, but the French government has suggested it could pay for it by raising taxes on petrol. Last year, the world's first road to convert sunlight into electricity opened on a 100-meter stretch of carriageway in the Netherlands. Eight new electric buses will begin operating in Milton Keynes, England, later this month. The bus route is 25 kilometers long. The buses receive booster charges throughout the day at the start and end of the route. Primary wire coils and plates are buried in the road. A receiver plate located on the bottom of the bus is lowered to receive voltage generated by inductive charging. Electricity passes through wire coils in the buried plates, generating a magnetic field that wirelessly charges the vehicle's batteries. The bus charges for 10 minutes during its layover time, which replenishes two-thirds of the energy consumed during this route. 
the Milton Keynes Council said it would cover all bus routes with electric buses if the new buses proved to be a success. U.S. designates electric vehicle charging corridors. Taking your electric car out further than work or a nearby shopping mall is about to get a lot easier, thanks to a new initiative launched by the Obama administration. The U.S. federal government plans to establish 48 electric vehicle charging corridors across the country to encourage the adoption of electric vehicles. The 48 corridors will be designated by the Department of Transportation. They will cover nearly 25,000 miles, crossing 35 states and the District of Columbia. The plans call for either an existing or a planned charging station within every 50 miles along these corridors. New signs approved by the Federal Highway Administration will help drivers identify and locate these charging stations. The signage and placement of charging stations at 50-mile intervals will help overcome what analysts call range anxiety, one of the main barriers to using electric vehicles for longer trips. Electric cars such as the Volkswagen e-Golf, Chevrolet Spark, and BMW's i3 can travel only 80 miles on a single charge. Among the 48 vehicle charging corridors are Interstate 5 from San Diego to the Canadian border, Interstates 10, 20, 30, 35, and 45 in Texas, and Interstate 80 from Nebraska to New York City.